So this is Man of Medan. It's another cinematic choice based horror game made by the same people behind Until Dawn. So you know it has to be good. Just like the quarry, this uh, you can also play this with friends but uh, once again I don't have any friends so we're gonna play alone. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <laughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You have any questions? Oh. I can actually choose. Uh, I guess I just hmm. want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work out for him? Um, bamboo. Let's go with the bamboo. Can Jay Jump by? Gosh, you can't do a shama. Uh, okay. A fish it looks like a fish. Well. Yeah. I mean, it, it is a fish, right? Death. Huh? Insecure, selfish. Wow. Reckless. Oh, wow. Okay, fair enough. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? <laughs> yeah, hey, so much bud, for uh Let me get it go at it. Oh yeah. For fortune. <laughs> you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Okay. Aim and punch. Goofy controller, but well, oh well. What? Yep, there we go. Oh. Oops. Wrong button. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> the worst part is I know the controller layout. It's just not a fan of quick time events. 
Okay. Well, I mean, never said I was an expert. Oh, Ooh, got it. Yes. Oh my. Okay. Have a nice day. So I'm uh, becoming more reckless. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Looks uh, dangerous. I'm sure that uh, that's not gonna have uh, disastrous consequences. Foreshadowing. Can I get a second opinion? Oh, damn. There's gonna be something bad in those crates, right? I mean... Okay. Oh, all right. Find a way out. Ooh, what's this? I assume this is my son, isn't it? Okay. Your pops come back soon. Hmm. Well, I mean. All right, let's uh, let's see what we can mess around with. Oh my! What the mm. hell? I <laughs> okay. I guess we'll. Do we need this? <sighs> to be honest, I really didn't expect that. What the f what the hell happened to him? Is that a neck injury? Okay, um 
Yeah, let's uh... Well, game doesn't let me walk that way Doesn't let me walk that way either So uh... I guess this is it Well, that was easy Okay <coughs> okay, now which way do we go? Hmm. Of course. I mean, not like the camera was pointing this way. Oh my god. That weird ass camera, like the first Resident Evil games. Weren't when you're just trying to look around the corner Howdy and you can Charlie. see anything. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Okay. Guess uh, we're gonna find out what happened on the ship. Oh! Uh, I need a weapon. Well, I failed that. It's kind of confusing, but oh well. At least we're alive. But I, I guess this is a prologue, so we can really die in here. What? Oh. What was that? What? Why is there a kid here? Unless I'm just seeing things. Okay, well, this is the only place the kid could have went. Well, of course, it's locked. Right, well. Guess we're gonna go through this other door. Better not be hey, anything scary behind Charlie, it. Help. Oh my! Fuck no! Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that son. Okay. This. Uh, oh wow. No idea what the hell is going on here. Is this blood all over the floor? Oh damn, really is. Okay, uh well Oh. God damn. Another dead body. Dead Buckley. <coughs> Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Ouch. Uh okay, I'm just gonna follow this guy. I already forgot what his name was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really not very good with names. How the hell is it so much blood in here? Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Well, there are trucks and jeeps. They're not gonna be very useful if we're on the sea. Oh my! Fuck! Oh hey, Jesus! Joe? You see that kid over there? Uh, <coughs> no. You feeling all right? It's not as much as the kid running, but like the freaking uh, the sound effect. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's head over here. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Do they why do they all look so messed up oh okay of 
course, he has to take the gun and I gotta be stuck with a knife. Oh well, better than nothing, I guess. I don't think this is gonna end up too well. Hey, come here. Is it the same room where those four crates were previously? Ouch. Oh god no. Charlie! Oh shit, there's the kid. What the hell? He's got a knife? Oh damn, he does have a knife. Oh, oh damn. The bullet just went through him. Holy sh... Oh my god. What's going on? Well, fuck me. I mean, to be fair, a lifeboat would probably be the best course of action. I mean, I'll take my chances in the storm, in the ocean.
Hello. And welcome to my repository. So is this the equivalent of the psychiatrist in Until Dawn? I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. <laughs>